Hello, this is Lego Man, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download Minecraft mods for the latest version at the moment, 1.7.4 and up. This is my first video, so if you have any problems, please leave me in the comment section below, and let's get started. So the first program that you're going to be needing is the file manager 7-zip. If you've watched any other um how to download Minecraft mods videos, then you would know that many people use WinRAR, which is a program that you must pay for. But the beauty of this is that 7-zip is free. So on you, let's go you know. So you're going to need to go to your Minecraft mod page and then you're gonna to need to click download. I'm using the mod too many items because I've tried other I tried a lot of other mods but for some reason they weren't working. I think there were plugins or if I was using the wrong version or something like that. I don't know, I just did something wrong. But for some reason this is the only one that I've so far tested that works. So you click download and then I just put it on my desktop to make it easier to access. So after you do that, you hold down the Windows key and then press R. And you should type in percent app data percent and then press OK. And then it will bring you to these files in your roaming folder. And you click on dot Minecraft. Then versions. And then you'll see all the versions that you have played before or you've downloaded Minecraft and they've gone through. And then this is easier to download and uh, I mean this is easier to copy than having to copy every single one. Just left click on that file and then you hold down control and then C. That makes it copied. Then you right click anywhere in this space and you click paste. And then it should give you an extra file of that. And then you right click on this and hit rename. You just backspace out of all this. And I'm going to name it Too Many Items. Because I'm using this mod, and if you're using anything else, you can name it that mod. Um, it doesn't really matter what you name it. I'm just gonna do this to save time. I'm gonna right click on it again and then hit rename. And hit Control C for copying. And enter. And I'm gonna right click on this, rename. Make sure to keep the dot jar and the dot JSON. Control V for copying. I'm sorry, this happened earlier. Like there we go. Sorry about that. Now you're gonna need the same thing with this, rename, delete, hit control V, and there you go. And then you're gonna go into notepad. And you'll see all this text right here. Make sure just to delete 1.7.4. And hit control V. Then file save. You can exit out of that. And then you move this over, and I'm just gonna. And you open your downloaded Minecraft mod, which should be open in 7-zip. And you open this, and you'll see both of these. Make sure, um, this is a trick to make this save you a lot of time. Just click on any one of these, and hit Control A. You just drag them all over. Agree? But you don't need that anymore, so just send it out of that. And then you're not done with this yet. You need to 
delete meta slash info. Pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it, but I'm just sounding it out. So you don't need that anymore. Now you just go to Minecraft, but it, the mod doesn't automatically download or install onto Minecraft. You need to do one more step before you go in. You press edit profile right next to new profile. We could use either one, but I'm just using this. You hit the down arrow and click too many items or whichever mod or whatever you named it. Click apply. I actually have the plastic texture pack on right now. I'm gonna make another video on how to install texture pack, so I'm just gonna go into a random server just to show you that it worked. As you can see, I have down. I mean, it successfully got onto Minecraft, and it works. I can exit that now. And that is how you create. And well, is that is that is how you install Minecraft mods onto Minecraft 1.7.4. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.